if you can finger pick over this chord, it will add a nice touch to your guitar playing. Whether it's rock, folk, ballad, you can use this in so many styles of music. I'm on G with the two fingers and, and I've placed a capo on the fourth fret just while you're learning this, it's going to make it easier. So if you pause for a second, put your capo on the fourth fret. Now, if you get your G chord again with the third and fourth finger and holding these down, can you practice taking these on and off? This will give you, it will open a lot of new doors. Instead of playing from G to C in songs, you can actually go from G to this one. And if you're putting a finger style over it, then you will pick the fourth. This this is an easy finger style. We looked at also the D and the C for, uh, you will pick the fourth and the second, fourth with the thumb, second with the first finger, third with the thumb, first with the finger. And you could re keep repeating. And usually you would get the fingers positioned them before you pick the chord. But with this one, you could actually pick the fourth string first and then add the fingers. So this would be a great little exercise to practice. And once you've picked the fourth, you would continue. So you have to be able to hammer it on. and keep the fingers going at the same time. This is the mistake most students made when, when I was teaching guitar over the years. They would do this and the sound would stop. The secret is to keep that sound going as you're, so you, you can hear the harmony of that. And you could do it then every second time you could have. And it sounds, It just adds an extra touch to your guitar playing. Once you've grooved it then, you can take off your capo and you can bring it down here. Very obvious example would be uh, Vincent. And there are thousands of others. Sometimes it's speeded up in songs and sometimes it's slowed down. But you will recognize it from now on when you hear it.